Hello. We are in day eight of our Strong for Summer 60 day set. 60 days of workouts. It's going to take us 12 weeks to get there. Start lying on your ground, on your mat. Uh, feet a little wider than the hips and just rotate your knees left and right. Today, you're going to need one weight for sure. Uh, you can have two um, in case you like that variety. Um, I have 120 and two tens hanging out next to me. If you have options, those are always great. Okay, level off and just lift one leg up straight. Lift your head and shoulders, trying to scoop your belly. Grab behind that leg. So my right leg is lifted straight up. And then the left leg is going to extend out straight in front of you. Hold through the core. Tighten and scoop. Pull behind that thigh. Inhale. Exhale. And switch. Grab through that left leg. Pull the toe back toward you. The right leg's hovering off the ground. It's not relaxing. Grab through that core. Inhale, exhale, switch. We're going to go one more each side. Inhale, exhale, switch. And then come up to seated. Okay, plant both your feet on the ground. Slowly come back to scoop the belly. Find your core. Grab through the heat. And then bring your body up. And then slowly bring it back. Exhale, round, tuck, hold, grab. Inhale, bring it up. We're going to go two more. This is going to be your exercise. We're going 10 reps. Bring it up. Last one. Otherwise, we are going to go straight into an in and out. So you're finding a hollow hold here. Legs out. And then everything tucks in. Okay, we're going to go 10. Ready, set, go. One. Two. Get your low back to push into the ground. Squeeze through that core. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, feet plant. Grab your one heavy weight. So we're doing a lot of single arm stuff today, obviously, with our one weight for asymmetric sets. Drive your hips up into your glute bridge, drop the one arm straight down next to your rib cage, press it straight up. Grab through those glutes, neck is relaxed, eight, nine, ten, switch it over, don't drop it on your head, go other side, drop the elbow, press, two, Three, four, five, six. Keep driving through those glutes. Nine and ten. All right, weight can come down. And we're going to go into a scissor crunch. So legs are going to go straight up. Rest your head in the hands. Flex the toes back towards you. Drop one leg and twist the other arm over. We're not rushing here. That's one each side. Scoop the belly. Two. Feel the abdomen. Pull the leg back up towards you. Four. The hands are there to rest the head in two. Not yank on the neck. Do not relax your abdomen. Scoop it in a lot, a lot. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, relax the legs. We're going to do a two-part tricep press. So this time you're holding one weight with both hands. Hips go back up into your glute bridge. So you're going to start with your elbows on the ground. Wrists right over the elbows. So you're going to press the arms straight up. Drop the elbows down. Your hands stay there. The elbows stay bent at 90 degrees. Rotate back into a skull crusher. 
and then down, okay? Let's all go together, here we go. Press up, elbows drop, rotate back, back to front. Here's two, press up, drop down. Weight to the forehead, elbows down to the floor. Three, down, forehead, down, press, drop, forehead, drop. Ceiling, floor, forehead, floor. Ceiling, floor, forehead, floor. Fill your triceps, this is eight. Press it up, elbows down, forehead, nine. Press, rotate back, 10. All right, set your weight down. We're gonna find a V-sit, and then we're gonna crunch. So head is up, legs are straight if you can, otherwise just keep them bent. The low back is pushed into the ground. Only lower your legs as far as you can keep your low back. Press into the ground, and the belly scoop. Crunch it in, one, two. Chin tucks in. Seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. All right, legs come down. Now we're going to go to our lighter weight, but you're going to hold both. Back up into your glute bridge. We're going to go a little more triceps. Find your glute bridge. Arms go straight up over the shoulders. One is going to hold static. Let's say our right arm. Take the other hand and drop your weight right next to your temple. Here we go. One, so it's a skull crusher on one side. Three, four, elbow stays still. Kelly, watch it. Try to keep that elbow super still. Squeeze your knees toward one another. Here's 10, other side. Stronger side, gonna be a little easier. Keep relaxed through the neck, shoulders. Feel the tricep, core, and butt. Eight, nine, ten. All right, weights can come down. And we're gonna do a runner sit up. Bend your knees just a bit, elbows in the ground. Scoop your hips, scoop your belly, come up opposite elbow to knee, rotating left and right sides. Two, twist, three, twist. Eight. Nine, make sure you're not throwing the arms, and 10. All right, back to your lighter weight, at least for me. <clears throat> one arm, just need one weight. And then the hips go up again, find your glute bridge. This time, if your right arm is holding the weight, your left leg is gonna come out. So you're gonna be in a single leg glute bridge. Take your one arm straight behind you, and then you're gonna take arm to leg at the top. Two, use your shoulder blades to connect with that weight. Use the core. Six, flex that moving leg. Seven, eight, nine, Feel this one everywhere. 10, overall good. Can't tell if I'm wearing out arm, core, or glute. Okay, ready, extend everything long, and go. One, sneak in a little stretch there. Two, three. Keep pushing high into those hips. Extend straight arm, straight leg. Use that transverse muscle on the pulling side of the leg. That's where you're gonna feel a lot of it. Four more. 
three, two, and one. All right, bring it down. Set two, we're gonna go into our in and outs. Ready, set, go. Crunch it in, push it out. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, single arm press. Slide it down. Find your glute bridge. Ready, set, go. Elbow right next to your rib cage. Keep your wrist over the elbow. Eight, nine, 10. Second side. Here we go. Drop, press. Three. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Hips come down. Rest the head and the hands. Scissor twist. Legs straight up. Flex those feet. Scoop through the belly. Opposite elbow to knee. Two. Scoop the belly, scoop the belly. Focus on contracting the core, not on getting the knee to the elbow. Six. Eight. Nine. 10. Ooh, all right. Next up, we're going to do our two part tricep press. So grab your one weight, both hands. Hips go up. Okay, drive into those feet. Pull the heels back toward you. Don't slack off in your glute bridge. Press to the ceiling. Drop toward the floor. Rotate to the forehead. Back to the floor. That's one. Ceiling. Floor. Forehead, floor, three. Ceiling, floor, forehead, floor, five. Expand through the chest. Squeeze your elbows toward each other as you rotate to the forehead. They should both be pointing straight at your knees. Nine, brace in the back, feel those triceps push. Here's 10. All right, weight goes down. Find your V, hold, and crunch. One, two, three, four, five. You must scoop the belly. Nine, ten. I'm guessing as my sets progress, my legs are not going to be able to go as low. Okay, your two lighter weights. Drive the hips up. Wrap around those thighs. Both arms go up. You're going to do basically a single arm skull crusher. Let's go. Two, the hand drops right alongside the temple. Try to keep the elbow right on top of the shoulder. I'm going back, watching certain sets, seeing how my form holds up. Eight. Most of the time, my cueing is exactly what I'm trying to remind myself. Okay, second side. Doesn't always come completely naturally. You have to completely or constantly be scanning the body. Five. Whew. Feel those triceps. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Runner sit ups. 
Scoop the belly, elbows in. Ready, set, and go. It's like you're sprinting. Four. Get that twist at the top. Eight. Ten. Okay. Back to our one weight, lighter weight. Okay, one arm presses up if your right arm's holding the weight. Left leg lifts off the ground. Bring your right arm behind, and then straight arm, straight leg. Pull toward one another. Single leg, glute bridge, crunch, I don't know. <laughs> Pull over, maybe. Six. Seven, okay, so watch that core. Watch the rib cage as the arm goes overhead. I felt my rib cage just totally pop. My lower back sway last time, so watch it, watch it. Other side, keeping that rib cage sunk together. Keep driving up through those glutes. Use that core. If you need the support of the hand on the ground, take it. Otherwise, try to keep it up. Force your core to work harder and your butt to work harder. Two and one. Two sets. We're flying. Here we go. In and out. One. Tuck those knees in toward you. Ten. Single arm. Drop those or drop the shoulders onto the ground. Drive your hips up. Strong wrist. So watch the wrist. It likes to rotate back toward you. Keep it strong. Here we go. Punch it up. One, two. Wrap into the muscles on the thighs. <clears throat> Keep the wrist right over the elbow. Eight, nine, ten. Ugh. Switch sides. Strong wrist. Two. Eight, feel the tricep, the back is supporting, here's 10. Put your weight down, scissor crunches, feel the low back connect to the ground, flex those feet, elbow, opposite elbow to knee. Big twist, scooping that belly, eight, nine, ten. All right, two-part tricep press. <clears throat> Push those hips up. Make sure that your knees are kind of tugging toward one another, not super tight, but so that your legs are perfectly parallel. All right, elbows drop to the ground. Hands toward the forehead, so weight at that hairline. Back to the floor, press. One. Two. Three. Ceiling, floor, forehead floor. <sighs> 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 
Squeeze the elbows toward one another. Belly stays strong. Butt stays flexed. Six. Seven. Nothing in your neck. Nine. Be in control of that pullover. Ten. All right. V crunch. <clears throat> Legs come up. Lower them out at the max of your range while you can still scoop the belly. Crunch. Two. Three. Nine, ten. Whew. Single arm tricep. Grab both weights. Butt goes up. Wrists are strong. Here we go. Skull crusher. Arm goes right next to the temple. Check in with that elbow. Keep it right over the shoulder. <clears throat> Grab those hamstrings and glutes. Eight. You are in control of the drop, other arm. So feel the flexion as the hand drops toward the head. Don't just let it flop down there. You're in control both ways. Seven. Come on, keep that elbow in. Eight, nine, ten. Whew. <clears throat> that left side. Okay, runner sit-ups. I want four sets. We're doing great getting there. Alternate side to side. Get the low back into the ground every time. Make sure those these do not become a bicycle crunch. You're getting your whole upper body down and up every time. <clears throat> Last one. Oof. All right. <clears throat> single arm, single leg. Start on the other side this time. So your left hand's holding the weight. <clears throat> right leg is up, everything extends, and then crunch together. <sighs> Find that core, dig the belly button down toward the spine, keep the hips up, arm is straight and long. <sighs> Seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay, here we go. Straight out, checking in. One, four, five, six, seven. I should have said. If one leg up doesn't work for you, then you can do a couple different things. Either keep the foot on the ground, go straight arm, just like this, with both feet on the ground, your glutes up, or keep your butt down and go this way. One leg, one arm still. That one probably is better. All right. <clears throat> Let's take a little twist. Set four, running strong. You can feel it, but totally doable. These are nice days. Okay, in and outs, ready, set, go, tuck. Two. Seven. Eight, scoop through that belly. 10. Okay, we need our one weight. <clears throat> Glute bridge, single arm press, go. One, two, three. Scan the body, make it your best set. Dig into those hamstrings. 
Wrist stays over the elbow. Nine, 10, other side. Here we go, one. Seven, eight, and ten. Okay, scissor crunch. Legs straight up, rest the head in the hands, twist, scoop. Scoop the belly, scoop the belly. Eight. Nine. <clears throat> Ten. All right, two part tricep press pull over. <clears throat> Glute bridge. Drop your arms to the floor. Forehead, floor, ceiling. One, two, three. Flex your glutes, flex your hamstrings, flex your core, flex your upper back, relax the neck, push through the triceps. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. V crunch. <clears throat> Legs straight up, then open. One, two. Find that low belly. <clears throat> Two weights. Single arm skull crusher. Find that glute bridge. Starting on my weak side this time. Got an eye on that elbow, it likes to flare out. Seven. Uh, nine. Ten, I'm going one more for good measure. There we go, other side. Be in control of that drop. Don't let it flop the back. Slide those shoulder blades down the spine. Eight. And 10. <clears throat> Whew. Runner sit up. Ready, set, and go. Scoop that belly. Get that twist. One more each side. Ah. Okay. Last one. Right arm with the weight. Left leg stands out, open everything, and then crunch together. Belly strong. Open, connect, three, four, rotate out of the neck, slide the shoulder blade down the back, eight, Nine, ten, other side, here we go. 
Open, open. One. <sighs> Hamstring is so tight on this side. <sighs> Three. Straight, straight arm. Watch the core. Eight. Nine. Straight arm, comma. Ten. Oof. For our stretch, let's flip it over. <coughs> nice job. Felt so good. Big toes together, knees nice and wide. Rotate those elbows toward the ground. Plant your hands together, so they're like prayer. I like your clapping. Forehead stays on the ground, and then I want you to pull your thumbs to the base of your neck. Once you have that, Span through the chest, push that chest toward the ground. Maybe walk your elbows forward away from you just a little more. Stretch through those triceps. All right, bring your left leg forward, right leg stays back, hinge it down, plant your right hand, and twist the left arm up. Open through the back. Drop the left hand behind the right hip. Twist a little deeper. All right, just hinge back at that hamstring from all those glute bridges. Switch it up. Other side. Hinge forward. Hip flexor. Plant your left hand. Rotate the right arm up. Bring your right hand behind. That left hip twist a little deeper. Then hinge it back. Toe comes up. Reach the chest toward the toe. Stretch the hamstring on the front side. All right. Good work. Eighth day done. Keep it up.